Hi and welcome to another tutorial on Xamarin Studio and C Sharp. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to repeat a section of code or receipt, repeat um, a set of instructions over and over again while a certain condition is true or while um, a certain condition evaluates to true. So for example <clears throat> what we could do is display a message while a certain number is less than another number. So um, we could do something like that, or maybe we could ask the user to enter a secret code or a password while the um, password that they're entering in is incorrect. So we could just keep asking and asking until they enter in the right password. Okay, so um, while loops basically test a condition, so they kind of like ask a question, um, and if something is true or a condition evaluates to true, then um, the loop will keep repeating while that condition evaluates to true. So I've got my code here for the basic program when I start a new project in um, Xamarin Studio. And I'm just going to delete the line here where it says console.writeline hello world. And what I'm going to do is, for this example, I'm going to create an integer variable. So I'll write int and I'll just call the variable x and it's going to store a number which will be it will have an initial value of 1. Okay, so we've got a variable called x which has a value of 1, an integer value. Okay, I'm going to set up the while loop. So to do that I write while and then in brackets, just in normal brackets, I need to specify a condition. So the condition I'm going to have is x is less than 10 and I'll close that bracket. So in other words, while x, while the value of x is less than 10, we're going to repeat some instructions. Okay, so I can add in some curly brackets. So open curly brackets, and then I'll uh, close those curly brackets. All right, and it actually put that curly bracket back up on that line. But anyway, what we have here is an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket. All right, and that is going to be inside those two curly brackets is going to be the code that will repeat while the condition of this loop evaluates to true. So what we'll do for each time this loop repeats or for each iteration of this loop, I'm going to increase x by 1. So I can either write x equals x plus 1 like that or as a shortcut I can just write x plus plus and then a semicolon at the end of that line. So that will increase the value of x by 1. So for the first iteration of this loop, it will become 2. Then when the loop repeats again, it will become 3, and so on, until it becomes 10. And then the loop will stop because it's, x is no longer less than 10. All right, so to display the value, we'll put console.writeline, and then in brackets, the variable, which is x, and then end that line with a semicolon. OK, so I can save that. So basically what's happening here is I create a, val a variable called x with an integer value of 1. Then we check if x is less than 10. And while x is less than 10, we're going to increase x by 1 and then display x's value, okay, every time this loop repeats. So x, on the first time that this loop repeats, so the first iteration of this loop, x will increase by 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. The value of x will be displayed. So 2 will show up on the screen. Then the loop will go back to the start and check if it's still less, if x is still less than 10, which it is. So x will increase by 1 again, so it becomes 3. 3 is displayed. The loop repeats. Um, 3 is less than 10, so it will repeat again and again until x is no longer less than 10. So let's run that and see what happens. And there we go. All right, so we have the value 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 displayed. All right, the reason why we see 2 and we don't see 1 is because initially x is equal to 1, but um, when the loop checks if x is less than 10, the first thing it does before it displays x's value is increase it by 1. So it immediately becomes 2 and then the value of 2 is displayed. So we see, that's why we see 2 on the first iteration of that loop. And so that loop keeps repeating until eventually x becomes 10, 
All right, so x becomes 10, um, and um, basically, so, okay, so we get to a point where x is 9, all right, so 9 is less than 10, so x is increased again by 1, so it becomes 10, the value is displayed, and then the loop, we go, we go back to the top of the loop, check if x is less than 10, the value is 10, so 10 is not less than 10, um, so the loop doesn't repeat, okay? So that's why we start with 2 and end with a value of 10. So it's just displaying, it's increasing x by 1 and displaying the result on each line there. That's a basic while loop, okay? Um, so while loops are used a lot in programs when you want to um, repeat something over and over again, or repeat some instructions um, for as long as a condition is true or evaluating to true, or as long as the... Um, answer to a question is yes or the answer to a question is true so if a if one value is greater than another value or if a value is less than another value or equal to um, or not equal to all right so that's an example there that's a basic while loop in c sharp thanks for watching